Dylan's touch back again with another paintless dent repair video. This time around, we have a 2018 Honda Civic four door. Surprisingly enough, the rear doors are high strength steel, but the front doors are not. So we don't have anything crazy. Um, it's in the center of the door. It's kind of a wide uh, dent. It's like three to four inches, and it, and it combines with another repair. So the the difficulties with this repair is just getting it 100% flat, obviously from you know a few feet away. Uh, so visually, the the panel just looks you know flat and, and, and spot on, as they call it, glassed. So we're going to start gaining access to the repair area right now. Uh, I'm hopefully can get a complete access with that with a window guard and just a wedge. And so I'm going to bring you guys along. So let's go. So the first step is to buff the panel. It did have some transfer for whatever hit it, probably another door or shopping cart or whatever hit it. So I was able to buff the transfer out using the Rupes uh, Nano Hybrid. Uh, so if you guys are interested, this is a stellar device. Currently right now, I am comparing it to my Milwaukee uh, kind of orbital, uh, I'm sorry, not orbital, but uh, rotary type buffer, little mini buffer that I have. It does the job, it's only about a hundred bucks, plus the batteries and all that good stuff. Um, very good, good uh, buffer for quick jobs. But just comparing it with the Rupes, this definitely creates a cleaner and uh, easier uh, cut. So if any guys are looking for some of the best buffers out, I think this one has stole my heart. So just to give you guys some information on that. Uh, I'm going to now wipe the panel down of the compound and proceed to wedge the window and get started with the repair. go over my initial Im impressions of first starting this repair of uh, the Hondas especially the new Hondas I think they're high strength steel at least this one is pushing like high strength steel but it doesn't come up in our system we use mobile tech RX and it actually shows us which panel is high strength steel the software that they use are, is relying on the information collector for automobiles to provide them with the right knowledge it says it's not a high strength steel door. I know it's pushing like a high strength steel door. Uh, so that's kind of creating com some confusion. There's also a pad behind it, kind of like a sound deadening pad. Uh, years ago, there used to be something called um, a dyno mat. Uh, so it's something similar to that. Very, very hard for us to push on. It requires us to have a sharp tip tool to get the full effect and actually pinpoint where we need to push. So those are my initial thoughts. Um, right now, I mean, the, the dent is not hard by any means. Any uh, normal average technician should be able to repair this in, you know, an hour, hour and a half, maybe two hours. Uh, so, but I'm just walking you through the process for anybody that's wondering kind of what my mind is going through as I repair this dent. So let's get back on it.
I've been working, I'm very familiar with where that sound deadening is in the panel. Uh, and I'm able to actually slide my tool between the panel and the sound deadening. So that's allowing me to get those little micro orange peel lows out right now. Uh, the lower dent uh, requires a whale tail. Again, towards the end of the video, I'll go over the tools that I've used. Uh, so I'm whale tailing that. I need to start pulling the light back a little bit further. And we're just really getting through the dent finally. I, I know where all the obstacles are in this repair and I'm able to work around it now. Uh, now determining that, I haven't put a light into the door panel, so I don't know visually. I'm able to make that judgment call based on how I feel as I'm sliding the tool and as the tool is pressing up against that door. So for the beginner technicians, what's happening when you try to push on sound deadening, it's almost like you've wrapped your tool with a whole bunch of tape and what you need to take out is something about two millimeters and that's pretty much impossible. So that's kind of what was happening. I needed that fine tune uh, type uh, repair or type tool that will give me, like basically work out all those micro orange peel lows out. So let's continue and stick around and I'll go over the tools that I've used for this repair. go over every single tool that I use to get this repair done let's talk about the steps that I took first up is determine accessibility which was quite simple all I used was my window wedge and my window guard and you know was able to get a double hook right onto that particular dent the lower dent was through a ba brace so I was able to just use a, a whale tail secondly is deciding on the best tools to use after I assess pretty much the angle that I'm gonna be working at then on. Thirdly, is constantly moving my light around the vehicle. And fourth, when you move your light, it allows you to work in different angles and different directions. So those are kind of the steps that I took to uh, repair that damage. So first, let's talk about the main tool I used, which was the Dentcraft Double Bend right here. It's about a 30 inch, I'm sorry, it's not a Dentcraft, Double bend. It's the Dentcraft door tool, the black handle set. Very inexpensive set, roughly about $169 for this kit. Probably the cheapest set uh, on the market right now. Now, once I figured out that the sound deadening was gonna cause me uh, much problems, I decided to go with a more pick tool setup. And this is the PDR Finesse. I think it's the 245 rod that he sells. Yes, 245 with the extra throw. So that allowed me to at least get a little bit more leverage, better control. And then the ratcheting handle, uh, I made a comment before where I, the black handle was my go-to tool for right now, but my wrists have been starting to hurt now. So to be able to maneuver the handle uh, in a certain direction, allow a, a little bit less tension on my wrist. Is, is This is now my go-to tool now. Probably about 160 just for the one. And with the dent craft, I believe you get six tools for 160. So definitely uh, a difference in price on that one. I will say though, I don't know if it was me or the tool, but it was the first time that this tool, the ratcheting hand, handle slipped on me. So it didn't do that, uh, it did it at the beginning and it didn't do it after that. So I'm gonna kinda oil it up, grease it up or something. And maybe that was just me, cause you do, you are able to just pull it out 
in turn. So maybe that was just me. To keep up with the tool trend, uh, the whale's tails of choice are the Ultra. I'm a big fan of Ultra Dent Tools whale tail. I did use a little bit of the Dent Craft tool and the re Dent Craft whale tail, sorry. And the reason is, is I don't have all the lengths. So I kind of separate uh, based on the lengths. I'm not gonna get a tool every three inches. It just doesn't make any sense for me. But the longer whale tail, part number is FT08, and the shorter one is FT06. So there you go, guys. These are the whale tails that I use um, for this repair. Now, as far as lights, everybody knows that I'm a Stucky fan, almost switched back, but I'm trying to train my eyes on the Elimident so I can give it the proper review that it deserves. Uh, great light. I did notice that the battery does go uh, goes goes out a lot sooner than the Stucky, I would say. And I was running a three amp hours and I had to kind of swap out. Now, to say, give you a little bit of information is they do have an indicator here and when this light turns, when this light turns yellow, I think it's like a 50% on the battery. Maybe it's my OCD or whatever, but as soon as it turns yellow, I kind of swap out and I think the battery's dead. I don't know, maybe when it turns yellow, it probably has another, three hours, two hours, I don't know, but it does turn yellow in about two and a half to three hours from the battery that said full charge for me. Um, so again, this is the Elimidant version three with the big suction cup. I really enjoyed the suction cup, the automatic. Hopefully you guys can hear that. And the adjustable lenses. Uh, I, use, I run it a little bit uh, at the last step. So the closer to the, to the light source. That's the way I love it. Um, I've tried it out. It doesn't seem to work well for me. So that's the way I run my Ultra Elim Elimited, sorry, light. Um, this is the 14 inch right here. If you are gonna buy it, definitely get the 20 inch. Don't even worry about the 14 inch. Uh, maybe keep the 14 inch for like the really, really small dents. But this, since this dent kind of totaled about six, six inches, seven inches, I mean, it was like, it's like over half of the board. So I was, I was struggling on that. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I know this is probably a long video. If you haven't already, go ahead and like and subscribe to our channel. I greatly appreciate all the <laughs> all of the good feedback. And leave a comment below of how you would have probably attacked that then if you're a technician. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next show. Peace.